what is ECMA, what is ECMAScript, and why do we care as JavaScript developers? And in this short two minute video, I'll attempt to answer all of these questions. Hey, it's Justin here from DevShack Coding Academy, and welcome to the second video in the JavaScript short series that I'm putting together. And let's get straight into it. We're gonna be discussing ECMA, and we'll put two minutes on the clock, and let's go. First things first, what is ECMA? ECMA is a nonprofit organization that provides and writes standards for computer hardware, communications, and computer programming languages. When JavaScript was first created back in the Netscape days, it was decided that what was needed really was an international standard that JavaScript could conform to so that there would be interoperability between different web pages and web browsers. And so it was decided that ECMA was going to maintain this standard and it created the ECMA 262 standard. And it is a standard for a general purpose scripting language. ECMA 262 or ECMAScript standard is the standard to which the JavaScript programming language conforms to. So what this means is that JavaScript is not a programming language like Python or C++ plus where you can actually just simply download um, a packaged version of the programming language. What happens with JavaScript is that organizations will build soft like a JavaScript engine for a web browser and that will execute the JavaScript. Firefox, Chrome, Internet Explorer, all of these web browsers will have their own JavaScript engine built in. Next up, the versioning system and versioning side of things. When ECMA was first started, um, they released editions of the ECMA standard. So we had edition one, two, three, et cetera. And what they did was bundle all the major updates into this, these editions and then release new editions. However, this started taking too long between uh, the different editions. In 2015 it was ES6 or the ECMAScript edition six. They decided to rather move to a yearly release cycle. Therefore, we have the ES2015, which was the first of these yearly release cycles. And the consequent years would have the different releases, ES2016, ES2017, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so in summary, all you need to know is that ECMA is an organization that writes standards. It has written a specific standard called the ECMA 262, which is the standard to which JavaScript conforms to, and it allows a universal standard Okay, so that is my summary for the for ECMA and ECMA script. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. Do let me know if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer in the comment sections below. As always, please take a moment to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This goes a long way to helping get this channel off the ground. And this also means that you'll get notified every time I release brand new content just like this. And so that is a wrap for this video. Until the next one, cheers for now.